Hello, this is Good Cop, Bad Cop, and this show is a discussion debate show between me and Emily on any various love, sex, dating topics. Today's topic is nice guys finish last. I agree with the topic, so I'm the good cop. Emily disagrees. She thinks nice guys don't finish last, so she's the bad cop. You disagree as the bad cop. Why? I do disagree because depending on the girl, the nice guys end up with, I think definitely matters because there's going to be the girl who appreciates a nice guy, who appreciates the flowers and, you know, the sweet little notes in the morning and the voicemails and all those good things. So, you know, in his case, in those cases, the good guy finishes first because, hey, you know, he did find a girl who appreciates that stuff. And he is able to be the good guy without, you know, being a jerk or, you know, showing his, I guess, mean side to a woman. So it definitely depends on the case, and I don't think it's always true. But generally speaking, a lot of guys in general don't do stuff like that. As you say, the extra, you know, little notes in the morning, the extra mile, yeah, because that type of stuff. But what about the regular nice guys that are just harmless? Because there's going to be a lot of nice guys out there that they're, they're not going to do a lot of that romantic stuff. They don't even know any better. But they're still nice guys. Well, and I they do. And, and those are the guys that finish last. I don't think so. Because, okay, when you look at the group of guys and you say, okay, these guys are nice. These guys are, we'll call them the nice jerks. Okay? The nice guys tend to do things or act or treat a woman a different way than the nice jerks would, right? But we're not talking about the nice jerks. We're talking solely about Okay, the nice but this guys. is what I'm saying. Because those group of guys, you know, whether it be leaving notes or not leaving notes or, you know, opening doors or not opening doors or just, you know, being a nice guy, all the, an all-around nice guy, it is... I want to put them in one category, you know what I mean? So we keep the nice guys and not the nice guys. And there are women who are going to appreciate those nice guys who don't have the jerky side, who, you know, enjoy being sweet and just all around nice guys. Like, and it, like I said before, I think it definitely depends on the woman and the situation. But I don't think they finish last. I think, you know, if they search out for the yes. right woman, they can finish first. They do finish last. You know, these are the guys that don't build attraction. These are the guys that are always too available. They're not, you know, decisive. You know, they, they're the guys that complain about being in the friend zone, and they're in the friend zone for the very simple fact that they don't build attraction for the girl. Yeah, but some women, but someone might like the availability. A woman doesn't want to call a guy and, you know, hey, can we hang out today? I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to date a guy and say, let's go out this weekend. Oh, no, sorry. So you want to date a guy that's willing to drop every little thing he does every single time you call for you because he's a nice guy. I'm not saying that's gonna get wait, your panties wet. I'm not saying that you know if a guy doesn't do that then he's horrible. But if a guy is willing to do that then great, that's awesome. I don't know any girl that's gonna complain about a guy being there for you. I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't see anything wrong with I think do people think logically or do they think emotionally? They go off that connection. They think passion. emotionally. So nice guys finish last because those, if that, that's the logical choice. Girls are going to go for that, that spark. And I'm getting that spark. And I have that spark, I'm going to go for that guy. And maybe that guy happens to be an asshole. Yeah, I mean, in some cases, sure. But in other cases, you know, it, it can be a nice guy. I think, again, I want to say it again because I definitely think it depends on the girl. And what kind of issues, you know, she has. It depends on the guy. The guy. It depends, the, no, really, it depends no, on the guy. And actually, the girl. It does depend on the girl because it takes the girl to appreciate a nice guy or to go I for... I want you to go out there and talk to what these guys or what you consider a nice guy. And they'll tell you that they probably haven't done well with women. They haven't scored with a lot of women. They haven't dated a lot of women that they would have liked to because they always get stuck in the friend zone. You know, I'm a nice guy. You know, I'm not disrespectful. I listen. I'm willing to be there for that person but you know she goes with the other guy and then comes to me for the emotional lean on 
And I think some, I'm sorry, <laughs> and I know you don't agree with this, but again, I don't, I, you know, maybe she's not the right girl. There are girls out there who are just as nice as you and who can deal with or appreciate. That's true. And those guys should be wasting their time. Right. But the, the issue is, if you talk to a guy like that, they'll tell you, you know, these girls they want a, a good guy, a nice guy. I'm a good and nice guy, but what happens? I get skipped over. I'm the last guy. I think that's where I can... It makes sense to say that nice guys do finish last. Because it's a state of mind. It's something you notice. It's a result of putting yourself out there. You're not winning. Which is why the pickup artists... Oh, it's helpful for those type of guys. That's a whole nother topic. But yeah, come on. Do you want all your guys to be nice guys? Personally, <laughs> I would wait. Can I, can you know, I just, just, can I just... What I mean is, you know, I'm not <laughs> saying, you know, I'm not saying you need a horrible guy or... Right. But the, like a true nice guy, you know, a gentleman is going to lose. But there's a lot of guys out there that you wouldn't be attracted to, and they would consider themselves nice guys. But you're going, he's nice, but, he's nice, but, don't you get a guy, a lot of guys like that? Nice, but. He has a temper. No, nice, but I don't feel anything for oh. that. <laughs> nice, but I don't feel the chemistry or the connection. Maybe. But I would like to say to the question you asked before, I would like a mix <laughs> of, you know, a nice guy and, you know, a guy who can, who knows what he wants, who can be a little bit firm without being, you know, a jerk. A nice 50-50 mix would be perfect. Because you can have a nice guy who is decisive. Right. You know, he sticks to his word. He's firm. But yeah, he's willing to compromise with you. And that's sort of like... The nice jerk, right? Yeah, but I think that word jerk, since you're like it's a it's a heavy word, and people tend to you know they're gonna look at you and the way you, you know, your actions are, you're gonna look more towards a jerk than an actual nice guy. Right. Because you are, you're not always placating to the girl, or saying the 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 right answer. You're doing your thing. Great. Right. Nice guys finish freaking last. Assholes finish first. No, uh, I'd get out of here. Do you think it also matters in terms of <laughs> like sex? Like if like, if I have this guy, <laughs> if the result is sex, nice guys finish last. Or oh, you don't agree with that? Like if the guy just wants sex, if the whole result, the end result, the end game is sex, assholes win and nice guys are last. Is that a fair statement? Is that a fair conclusion? Are nice guys winning sex? <laughs> Not so much. No? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because, you know, people, when people say that statement, <laughs> nice guys finish lives, you know, is it relationships? Do you mean in life? Do you mean sex? You know, and focusing on that, sex. That's... That's where I'm going to say again, it definitely depends on the woman and her personality. Because, you know, some women might want a nice guy in bed, right? A guy who's going to cater to all her needs. And of course, every girl says that. Be sort, of, be sort of like submissive in bed, like, you know, do whatever you want with me, right? I'm the nice guy, right? And then some girls, their sex style is going to be more like, I need a man who's going to take charge and pull my hair and... Bend me over but and... What's the common personality trait of a nice guy? Like just very general personality traits. Very sort of submissive, right? What else, like sometimes shy? Sh yeah, shy and introvert maybe. Um, Indecisive? Uh-huh. Or more, someone who needs to be led more? Because they're going to go on what you say? Right. And, and don't you see that kind of like mix? It's not gonna work well. Yeah, I think in the bed that's not gonna be a good idea, or at least not for me. Cause it would be great if nice guys could win. <laughs> but you know what? There's certain things that lead to attraction, and that's why I say nice guys finish last. 
because they're not pulling in the attraction. They're not attracting. You know, they're, they're magnets. You know what they are? They're duds. <laughs> Girls want magnets, not duds.